Okay, let's do our warm ups and see where we go from there. Shoulders back and down, crown toward the ceiling, get your core activated. We may do something with that later. So ribs toward your spine and up, and just lengthen through your whole spine up through the crown. Spread your toes out, no gripping, and just make sure everything is lined up and ready to do work. Take a moment to breathe. Let your belly expand as you breathe to the lowest part of the lungs. And as you exhale, empty, let all that tension out. And as you allow your body to focus inward, inhale, bringing your arms to shoulder, stretch the fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart, stretch out to the front, and then clasp your hands behind you. Just gently press them down and lift your heart. Stretch your head back, but remember, don't lift your chin too much. Spread your toes out, get weight evenly distributed, and then pivot at your hips, come on over, and relax. So spread your toes, lift your sitting bones, <clears throat> bring your arms towards your head, and then move your chin around, get your neck releasing a little bit. Knees bent slightly, sitting bones drop down, lift your ribs up and come all the way winding to the top and into another upper body. Shoulders down, head back. Stretch the spine even while it's back bending. And then inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment, spreading your toes, sinking evenly into your feet, reaching up through the spine and breathing. Again, arms reaching out at shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, shoulders down, and then clasp your hands the opposite way behind you, other finger outside. Lift your heart, stretch your head back, pivot at your hips, exhale over. And again, deepen as far as you want, spread your toes, lift your arms, keep breathing, just relaxing. Knees slightly bent, and again, line from the bottom of the spine all the way up into the back bend. Shoulders toward your waist and head stretching away. Spread your toes, keep breathing, and don't forget to relax. And then inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment focusing inward. Notice how your body is warming up. And then arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, but shoulders still down. Clasp your hands, bring the arms back by your ears, stretch up through the whole body, stay facing forward, coming into that side stretch. Push the foot you're leaning away from down, and reach out through your head and your fingertips. Feel the ribs, let them open. Inhale back upright, switch the other hand to the front, Pull your arms back by your ears and your shoulders down. Spread your toes and lean without a twist over to the opposite side. So remember, don't lean forward. That twists your spine. We want to be ribs opening on this one. Take a breath. Maximize it for your body. Inhale back up. Exhale into mountain pose. Feel the sides a little bit more open. And we need to open the spine for our twist. So stretch the base of the skull, base of the spine apart. Hands to shoulder level, palms up, clasp arms right above your shoulders. Stretch up through the whole body, spine opening, and exhale to one side. Take a breath, and as you exhale, pivot a little bit. <clears throat> so just arms by your ears, sitting bones lifting. Maximize as much as you want into that forward position, and then make sure your weight is as even on both feet as you can. Inhale, coming back up in the twist. Lift your heart, shoulders down, elbows back. Look slightly up, but remember, don't lift your chin. So upper body back bend, especially when you're twisting. Inhale to the top, exhale around to the center, switch your arms around, balancing things out. Arms back by your ears, sitting bones down, stretch it up, and twist to the other side. A breath in, 
And exhale over. So just deepen as far as you'd like on this side. Check that your weight is even as much as possible on both feet. And then in your twist, work your way back up and lift your heart. Elbows back, shoulders down, stretch your spine, and don't forget to breathe. Upper body back bend, just gently. Inhale, upright, exhale right to the center, arms up, shoulders down, and swan dive forward, arms at shoulder level. Stretch those fingertips out as you pivot at your hips. Stretch the spine straight, elbows and knees straight, and then drop into ragdoll and just hang. Bend your knees, pull in a little deeper if you want to, and head toward your legs. Then arms back to the center, and again, start at the bottom of your spine, and just wind your way back slowly up, shoulders back and down. Oh, let's circle them a couple of times. And relax. Take a moment to breathe. Step your feet together. Bend your knees toward your toes, not beyond, hands above your knees. And let's rotate them in a little circle. So remember, keep your knees back behind your toes, circling just gently. Feel those feet working, knees working, hips and lower back working a little bit. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Remember, no pressure in your hands. Stop and go the other way with those circles. Keep breathing. And then stop in the center. Find that spot out in front of you and lift your heels. Come on to the balls of your feet, the base of your toes, not the toes themselves. Find your balance. Shoulders toward your waist. Shoulder blades down toward your waist. Sitting bones and crowns stretching apart. And then roll back and forth on your feet. Get those ankles, toes, arches working. And stop coming back to mountain pose, feet hip width apart. Again, take a moment, feel your spine, your back, your feet, your ankles. Clasp your arms behind your back or fingertips to the middle of your back in prayer position, and circle your hips, nice big circles. So push the sitting bones back as you go back, and push the hip bones forward as you come around, and then stop and go the other way. Feel that lower back, hip area, lower body working. Feel your feet, knees, ankles, everything. And again, coming back to the center, release into mountain pose. Lift the toes of your favorite balance foot, get that base of the toe balls of the feet working into that surface beneath you for support. Spread the toes out without gripping or you lose those base of support. Heel and base of support sinking evenly in that foot. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up. So remember, you need to Make sure you're rolled in, not out, so that those toes go straight ahead. Core active, ribs toward your spine and up, shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling. Get your other foot ready. Remember, again, don't roll out, roll to the front, and bring that foot up. So bring it as high toward your chest as you want, or keep it close to the floor if you're challenged today. You can have a little chair next to you for support if you need it and circle your ankle one way and the other. Get those ankles nice and flexible so we don't fall down. And then flex and point before putting the foot back down. Take what worked on that side, sink evenly into that foot. Sitting bones down, ribs in and up, shoulders back and down, ground and seal, check your alignment. Keep that core working for support and bring your other foot up. And again, close in toward your chest or wherever you need it to be today on this side. Same, circling that ankle. Keep breathing. Flex and point a few times and then release that foot. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale in tension. 
Come back to your first balance foot. Spread those toes out really good. Make your alignment and your core connection. And again, bring that foot up. Opposite foot coming up as far as you want. Now pivot at your hips. Excuse me. Pivot at your hips. Come slightly forward. See if you can grab under your foot or across that base of the toe ball with the foot area. Look slightly to the front. Straighten your spine. Come on back up a little higher. If that works, then straighten your knee and bring the foot out to the front. And then if you bend your unbend to your knee, bend it again and release. Sink evenly into both feet. Exhale that balance stress and work onto your other foot. So again, so again, align first, core active first. Bring the foot up. Good. Hold under the foot. If you're good there, you can straighten that foot out to the front. Hold it as long as feels good for you. <laughs> Bend your knee and release. So oh, thanks for that recommendation for more balance today, Roxanne. <laughs> Take a moment as we get back in the mountain pose, shoulders back and down, and relax. Stretch your spine apart, just a little gentle swing side to side for a little more spine work. Exhale, shoulders down, crown high. All of these hands from one end of the circuit to the other. And then coming back to the center, activate your core. And we're going to do a couple of squats. So bring your toes slightly out, bend your knees, and all the way down. Hands to the floor. If that doesn't work for you, just go to your knees and then stand back up. So to your knees or the floor and back up. Activate. Use that core to work as you go down and up. Just focus there because we're going to do a little bit with the core when we get to the floor. And then as you come back up, turn your feet back into mountain pose, relaxing, and bring your hands to your heart. Shoulders down, watch your fingertips, stretch that spine, especially through the neck as you look up, and coming into the back, then looking behind you at the thumbs. Exhale, pivot over, bringing your hands to your heart, and then dropping to the floor. Slide the hands up under the knees, that halfway up stretch, get a good lengthening through the spine, look toward the floor, not to the front. Exhale that down, palms together, inhaling. Again, hands to your heart and toward the ceiling. Another little back bend looking up. And then separate hands, palms down, coming to shoulder level, pivot into halfway and then drop into right. Hands again under your shin, under your knees on your shins. Stretch and straighten through the neck, through the back of your body. Shoulder blades towards your waist. Give a good lengthening. Bend your knees, exhale, come all the way to the floor. Think back hips on your heels, hands, palms up, forehead down. Nice little child's pose. Taking a breath and relax. And then inhale, sitting up. Bring your legs out in front to the end of the mat. Ribs in and up, core active, and slowly lower down. So come all the way toward your sacrum and then pause. Lift with your heart, come back up. Again, exhale, leaning slightly back, rolling toward your sacrum, pause. Feel that core activate. Back up. Keep pushing out through the bottoms of your feet, toes up toward the ceiling, knees up toward the ceiling, keeping that core working as you roll slightly down. Pause. Pause again. And then keep rolling all the way down. Shoulders coming down, head relaxing. 
and slightly to your sides, palms up. Slide your sitting bones toward your heels, bending your knees, bring those heels right next to your sitting bones, knees straight up. So remember a little roller so that you're not letting those knees drop out to the sides. We're gonna do a little strengthener for the low back and warm up for those abs. So sitting bones toward your heels, press the whole spine down to the floor. Feel those abs working as you pull away down. And then lift your ribs, drop your sitting bones back toward the floor, get that arch under your lower body, space under your lower back. Press it down, sitting bones toward your heels, pulling in those abs. Inhale, arching up, ribs toward the ceiling, sitting bones down. So you're arched from your shoulder blades to your sitting bones. And again, exhale, pulling it down. Inhale, arching up. Go as fast or slow on this one as you like. Remember, it strengthens the low back, tones your abs. So just a gentle abdominal exercise for us to start off today. Take a breath. Just relax. And release back to neutral. Slide those legs out. Toes toward the ceiling. Hands above your shoulders, right at shoulder level, palms up toward the ceiling. And then as you inhale, bring the hands over your shoulders, palms toward each other. Use your heart to pull your body up to your seated position, arms straight above your shoulders. And then pivot at your hips, exhale, reach for your toes. And then sit back up in stack position. Take a moment there. Feel that core a little bit more worked. And then come back onto your hands and knees. Just a moment in table position. Get those ribs up, support your low back, chest slightly toward your thumbs, wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up. Remember, circle your wrists if you need to. And knees under your hips. Slide your right foot back. Bring it up to hip level. Stretch out through the base of the toes. Keep looking down toward your thumbs, not forward for your neck. Bring your opposite arm, left arm up if you've got your right foot. And stretch the fingertips and the toes away from each other. Keep that core working. Keep that lower back supporting you. Get that body as straight as you can. Take a moment and breathe. Stretch it out maybe a little bit more. Use your core for support. Stretch it a little bit more. And then bring your hand down and your knee down. Circle that other wrist and come back into table position. And when you're ready, yeah, to do the other side. So again, activate the core. Shoulders toward your waist, shoulder blades toward your waist. Slide the left foot out up to hip level. Stretch out through the base of the toes, balls of the foot, and right arm, right at ear level, stretching forward. Keep looking down, stretch the base of the skull one way and the base of the spine the other. Get that core active, supporting your lower back. Stretch those fingers and toes away from each other. Take a breath, stretch it out even more. Feel that core, work it keeping it activated for low back support. A little bit further, keeping those hips even, shoulders even, stretch it out. And then again, hand to the floor, knee to the floor. Sink back, circle those wrists. And come into child's pose. Just relax through your belly, through your spine, and everything releasing. Inhale, sitting up. Uh, no, bring your hands forward to the edges of the mat. Let's slide all the way onto your belly. And into resting crocodile. Hands, palms up, head to one side. Feet together or slightly apart. Just let that lower body relax. Exhale, turn your head to the other side. Okay, so we're going to turn the hands, palms down, and bring the fingers under your legs. Feet about hip width apart, face toward the floor, and then slide your chin forward. And we're going to 
Strengthen that low back and work the abs a little more. So chin forward, but don't crunch too much on your neck. So if that's bothering you, bring your forehead back toward your floor. Stretch the feet back, focus on the right leg, stretch it out, knee straight, and bring that foot up as far as it wants to go. Press the hip bones both down into the floor so you don't need to roll over to the side. You want to just bring that up straight so that the whole body is sinking through the shoulders, through the hip bones down as you lift that foot only as high as it wants to go. Reach out again through the base of the toes, balls of the toes, up and back. Lift maybe a little higher, press those hip bones down toward the floor. Take a breath, stretch it out, and then slowly lower the leg. Turn your forehead toward the floor and let the back of your neck get a good stretch. You can release your hands and move around a little bit to release anything that got stretched or tight or crampy. And of course, we're going to do the other leg. So forehead to the floor, hands, palms down, fingertips maybe under your legs, feet hip with a partish. Slide the chin forward, not too much if that bothers your neck. Shoulders down, hips even. Stretch out through the left foot especially and bring that foot up, knee straight off the floor. Hip bones pressing down, reaching out through the toes and out through the crown. Shoulders down, hips down through those hip bones. Reach out through the toes, stretch it out. Lift maybe a little higher. Do what's right for your body. Feel that back working, supporting you. Take a breath, maybe a little bit more. Keep those hip bones as far down toward the floor as you can, as even as you can. Shoulders down. Take a breath, stretch it out. And keep stretching as you exhale and lower the foot. Forehead again toward the mat. Release your arms. Take a moment to breathe. And of course, we're going to do both feet together. It's going to be harder. So be gentle if you need to. You can do the same thing with your hands this time. That will make it harder. You can lift your hips, clasp your hands underneath, and then press your hips, pelvis down into your hands. That gives you a little bit more support pressing down through those hips. Chin forward, again, if that's not working for you, forehead can stay on the floor. Feet hip width apart, stretch them out through the toes and lift the feet up. Feel that back working. Feel the core lengthening. Shoulders down, chin forward. Hips pressing down into your hands. Lift those feet maybe a little bit more. This one's called locust. Just go as far as your body wants. Take a breath, stretch it out, lift a little higher. Keep breathing, really working through that whole lower back area and strengthening the core as well. Take a breath, stretch it out. Lift a little higher. Oh, yeah, why not? And then still stretching through your feet. Slowly bring them to the mat. When they get down, tuck your forehead down. Release your arms. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Press up and back all the way into child's pose. So a nice forward bend where we were working that low back a lot. Just exhale, forehead down. You can separate your knees or you can bring them together if you want a really good forward bend stretch on that low back. Take a breath. And shoot And then inhale, sitting up on your heels, <clears throat> excuse me, slide up to the side. Again, bringing your feet to the end of the mat. Staff position, activating that core. <clears throat> Press out through the bottoms of your feet, shoulders above your hips, or really activate, so ribs toward your spine and up. Again, roll slightly toward your sacrum, but not all the way. 
Will that core support you? Come back up. Again, coming down. Pause. And then go a little deeper. Pause. A little deeper. Pause. A little deeper. Pause. Come all the way out to your lower ribs. Pause. And then your shoulder blades and your head, shoulders to the floor. Exhale any tension. Allow your body to relax. Take a moment to breathe. Sitting bones towards your heels. Bend your knees, bring your heels in towards your hips, and then straighten your feet up toward the ceiling. And then bring your arms up toward the ceiling. Keep that core active, so pressing down with those ribs toward the floor. And then we're going to take the right hand overhead at shoulder level and bring the left foot down toward the floor just above it. And then bring the hand and foot back up. And then the opposite ones. Just above the floor, hover there a moment, breathe into it, pressing out through the bottoms of both feet through the fingertips, and again, bringing it back up. And then we're gonna try both together. It'll be harder, so don't go as far. Bring the feet down and the arms up overhead. And again, just hover wherever you go, and then bring them back slowly up. And then bend your knees, bring your arms out to the sides, palms up to position as we get ready for our twist. So again, sitting bones towards your heels, arms, shoulders down, palms up, sitting bones towards your heels, bring your right leg up to the ceiling straight. We're going to roll over to the left side, put to the floor, head down, hands together. Remember, pad under your head if you need to, so that head stays on the floor. Take your left hand, hold your right foot if you can, or your leg, and bring up the left arm up toward the ceiling. Slowly lower that arm behind you, back of the hand to the floor, right at shoulder level. So don't bring it toward your foot or up toward your head, straight back. It may not make it to the floor, that's okay. Keep the foot down, lower back twist, head turning, neck area twist, and arm coming down with gravity, bringing that arm and shoulder into that middle back twist. Take a breath. Totally relax. Let your body soften and sink. And of course, hold the twist longer on your own. But for now, just let go of your foot. Roll onto your back. Straighten it out. Flex the heel. Keep the knee straight. Use that core again for support as you slowly bring that foot to the floor. When I get stand, totally relax. And of course, get ready to twist on the other side. Sitting on toward your heel, back pressing down. Legs straight on that left leg, or you can bend the knee and then straighten it. Put that foot straight up as much as you can toward the ceiling. Shoulders down, palms up. This time we're rolling to the right side. So hands together, head down, and foot to the floor, coming over onto your right side. Hold your foot if you can, or your leg. Bring your left arm above your shoulder, palm open toward the ceiling as you lower the back of the hand toward the floor behind you. And again, go as deep as gravity wants to bring you, and then just relax, exhaling any tension. Letting gravity pull you further when your spine is ready in that middle back. Head turning in the neck area for your twist if that works for your neck. And of course, foot to the floor, that keeps the lower back nicely twisting as well. So let your body go deep into the twist or just gently whatever's right for you on this side. Take a few breaths here, just exhaling and releasing any tension, letting your twist happen, never force it. And of course, holding it on your own if you can, 
Otherwise, just releasing that foot, rolling again onto your back, pressing down, flex your heel, core working as you slowly lower this leg to the mat. And again, whenever it gets down, just release all those belly muscles. Bring your hands near your hips, palms up, shoulders and shoulder blades down into the mat. A little arch under that lower back is fine. Toes toward each other and then just relax your legs. Take a breath and sink into corpse position for our final relaxation. Deep breaths, let the belly move as you breathe. Draw energy and awareness all the way into your body. And then exhale, any stress or tension you may have noticed. Let that whole belly area soften and sink. Um, quite a bit of abs work today, so just release and relax through that midsection. Arms releasing. Roll your head side to side, get that neck releasing, maybe circle your chin both ways. And again, just release your lower body totally. Soften your belly. Let your whole torso grow heavy. Your whole body sink deeper into that surface beneath you and let it go. Feel it just incrementally sinking, softening. And as you breathe deep and let your body release, just allow any thoughts coming to your mind to release as well. Thoughts flowing in and out as easily as your breath without attention. And allow your awareness to release your body and your mind. Let all those thoughts just drift away. It's the job of your mind to produce those thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. Let the past go or release the future. Allow yourself to just breathe, being in the moment, in the peace within. Fill your body with peace. Fill your mind with peace. And just take a promise, breathing, being, peace. If you have time to keep relaxing today, just take as much time as you have the chance for. If it's time to draw energy and awareness with your breath, back to the moment, to your body, to the moment. Getting ready for the rest of your day, just begin breathing slowly and gently, moving your body as freely as you choose. As you breathe more deeply and stretch more completely when you're ready for that final yoga hug of appreciation. Bring your sitting bones toward your heels, your heels toward your hips, and your knees up toward your heart. Help your arms and legs. Give yourself an appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release that, bring your head and feet to the floor. Roll over to the side and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.